Hello there. This is Paul Michael Bale. And today I want to talk to you about energy and electricity. This is from a book called Penetrability by Alfred Lawson. A big book. Very interesting man was Alfred Lawson. He came up with his own theories of um, science and astronomy and so on. And what I like about this is that he talks about energy as being non-existent. So I've always wondered, what is energy? He'd gone about energy, energy this, energy that. Right. Penetrability. Chapter 7. Electricity. University professors teach their students that electricity is a form of energy. But when an inquiring student asks, what is energy? The professors usually answer, nobody knows. The answer is true, because nobody knows now, ever did know, nor ever will know what energy is, because there is no such stuff in existence. Once the student understands the law of penetrability and can prove over and over again, under all circumstances and conditions, that the movement of matter is caused by suction and pressure, and how nature changes its densities from one sphere and scope to another, he or she will grin knowingly at any fantastic professor would dare spin such yarns again. After 60 years of thought along this line, I can positively state that there is no such thing in existence as a tangible form of energy. These theoretical professors say that notwithstanding they do not know what energy is, they are sure that there is such stuff because they can measure it. Well, the force of moving matter which they measure is merely the result of the push of pressure and the pull of suction. For instance, a greater quantity of water passing within a current from pressure to suction terminals creates more water power than a lesser quantity of water passing within a current from pressure to suction terminals does. That's all. So a greater quantity of electricity passing within a current from pressure to suction terminals creates more electric power than a lesser quantity of electricity passing within a current from pressure to suction terminals does. But that has nothing to do with a mysterious substance called energy that nobody knows what it is. When man comprehends my elucidations of densities, scopes and spheres, he will then understand that electricity is a substance, as water is a substance, except that it is of a different density. And because man's scope has been designed for a different sphere, he is unable to see electricity as he is able to see water. Electricity is a substance made tangible by the pressure of matter. Electricity is a form of matter. It is not a form of energy or motion or any other supposed non-existence. Electricity is not the basic form of matter, but it is just one of many forms of matter. But it is just, yeah, one of many forms of matter that man cannot see or understand because it does not come within his scope. It is a form of matter made up of elements of lesser density containing powerful suction and pressure qualities. Matter everywhere contains the same particles that make up electricity, but some substances contain more of these particles than other substances do. It is the proportion of the different elements drawn together in the different substances that causes the difference in density. It is the pressure of matter that re releases the different elements that compose electricity, which fly away in currents to different suction points. It is the quantity of the elements that constitute electricity released by pressure that flows from pressure terminals to suction terminals that decides the power of the currents. It is the opposite sex of the particles that constitute electricity being located at opposite terminals that causes pressure and suction movement of it. The male particles causes pressure and the female particles causes suction. 
Human beings learned to use water before they understood its composition. Now they are learning to use electricity before they understand its composition. They are now stumbling along and offering their different theories of it. But students will only make straight headway in the knowledge of electricity when they are able to grasp the basic principles of penetrability as outlined in the different volumes of law. Sonoma. I hope you enjoyed this reading today. Energy. Does it exist? Is there such thing? I'll leave you to think about it. Take care and have a lovely day. Peace and love from my heart to yours. God bless you.